looking for a new wild or crazy racing game? If you answered yes, check out my review of Gravity Chase coming up next on Mumbles. I'm gonna get hit by a car, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna get hit by a car. Ah! Hi everyone, Mumbles here. Today I'm bringing you guys a new game review. Today's game review is on a racing game. You know, you want to get in first, you want to finish in first. That's the kind of game we're reviewing today. The game is called Gravity Chase. Let's look at the description. Welcome to the futuristic anti-gravity arcade racer with a twist. Gravity Chase racing competition takes place on tunnel track for super fast 360 degree zero G racing. Skill and precision piloting are required to follow the optimal line along with strategic use of pickup, power, and weapons in order to progress through the racing series. Don't look at me like that. That's all they have written down. I read every word. At the time of this review, this game is available on Xbox for $11.99 and soon to be available on Steam. Now we go to the gameplay section, but before we do, I do have to ask. Please subscribe to Mumbles Videos. Just, you know, click, click, click that little subscribe button. Make the doot, doot, doot subscriber count go up. Just know how much I appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for the support. You're amazing. On to my review of this interesting game. Gravity Chase is a racing game. And the idea of this racing game is you take your little car, you get on this tubular type track, and you try to win the race. Now, in doing so, there are a few different modes. There is elimination, there is just standard race, and then there is combat racing. Now, that's pretty much the gameplay. As you go through, you can upgrade different cars or different spacecraft, I guess it would be. And you can also unlock various different tracks. But that pretty much is the gameplay of this game. You just race along these tubular tracks, you can go 360 degrees on these tubular tracks. There's various boosts on these tubular tracks that you're supposed to hit in order to go faster. And that's all there really is to say about this game gameplay-wise. Let's go to the con section. And oh boy, if you haven't been able to pick up on my feelings about this game yet, you're about to. Con-wise, the tracks feel pretty much all the same because really all you're looking at is to avoid obstacles and hit those power-ups. And... The second con that I have for this game is that this game is extremely 100% disorienting. It's one of the most disorienting games I've ever played in my entire life. Just, I didn't like it. I think it's very disorienting. We come now to my score section, and um, Gravity Chase is a game that I was hoping would be good. I like these futuristic, you know, uh, you, you, I used to see them in arcades all the time, these futuristic type games. Oh, look. You get to fly a spacecraft. Ooh, look at the pretty spacecraft. Oh, I get to upgrade my spacecraft? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. But quickly, upon starting this game up, the disappointment started. First things first, when I went into my first race, I felt like I was literally going to be sick because of how much you have to continuously turn over the tracks. I mean... It literally is a tubular track and you're literally going this way like the entire time. And it just is like, the best way I can describe it is if I took a hypno wheel, you know, one of them black and white wheels, and spun it on the screen right now in front of you. I felt like I was doing that the entire time I was racing. Very disorienting, very just confusing. And you never want to make, in my opinion, a racing game that does that to you, that wants to make you motion sick. It's just not a good, good thing in a racing game. So I was extremely disappointed in this game. But beyond that, I was also extremely disappointed in the fact that the tracks felt so repetitive. I know that this wasn't the intention. They did nice, pretty backgrounds in the background. But because it is on the tubular road, even when they change up the track, you're just looking at that tubular road. So they almost feel exactly the same because you kind of get to go in the same way. And there's really no difference, in my opinion, at least. So on today's Bumbles review, I'm sorry, Gravity Chase or Gravity Race. Whatever the heck your name is, I'm going to give you whatever the heck kind of score. Today's Mumbles Review Gravity Chase gets a 3 out of 10. Sorry. No, I'm not. Not really. I didn't like the game. 
Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Gravity Chase. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack the subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.